If you're a Mac user tired of relying on crossover, parallels, or virtual machines just to run Nintendo Switch games, there's exciting news. A brand new emulator called Hydra is in development, designed exclusively for macOS with full Apple Silicon support. Unlike other emulators like Yuzu or Ryujinx, which are ports originally made for Windows and Linux, Hydra is written entirely from scratch for macOS. This means it's optimized specifically for M1, M2, and M3 chips, offering the potential for smoother performance, improved stability, and true native integration, no compatibility layers needed. What sets Hydra apart is its native Mac OS foundation. It's built using Swift, Apple's programming language, and leverages Metal, Apple's high-performance graphics API. This makes Hydra highly efficient on Apple Silicon, with the ability to deliver better performance and lower overhead compared to emulators running through Windows emulation or virtualization. Rather than adapting existing code, the developer is building Hydra to be fully in sync with macOS architecture from the ground up, which is something the emulation scene has never had for the Nintendo Switch on Mac. The honest answer for now is no, not yet. As of today, Hydra is still in its early development phase. The emulator can successfully boot the Nintendo Switch firmware and run basic homebrew applications, but it doesn't support commercial games like Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Kart 8, or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at least, not yet. This is completely normal for any emulator in its infancy. It often takes years of development before reaching a level where major games are playable and stable. For Mac users, Hydra represents a breakthrough. Until now, the only way to emulate Nintendo Switch games on Mac OS was by using Ryujinx or Yuzu through workarounds like Crossover, Parallels, or UTM, all of which come with compromises. Whether it's reduced performance, additional costs, or compatibility issues, the experience has never been seamless. Hydra aims to solve this by offering a native solution that's tailor-made for Apple Silicon, resulting in better performance, lower latency, and smoother gameplay once full compatibility is achieved. Installing Hydra on macOS is now straightforward thanks to the pre-compiled build provided by the developer. To get started, simply head over to the official GitHub page of Hydra. Under the Releases section, you'll find a file named hydra.zip, which is around 20.6 megabytes in size. Download this file to your Mac and unzip it. Once extracted, you can drag and drop the Hydra app into your Applications folder or run it directly from the extracted location. Since this app is from an unidentified developer, Mac OS might display a security warning when you try to open it. To bypass this, go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, General, and click on Open Anyway to launch the app safely. While Hydra isn't ready for gaming today, it's a major step forward for the Mac OS community. Once fully developed, it could become the first truly native Nintendo Switch emulator for Apple Silicon, removing the need for any emulation layers, virtual machines, or compatibility hacks. If the development pace continues, Hydra has the potential to completely change how Mac users experience Nintendo Switch games delivering native performance, better graphics, and seamless compatibility on M1, M2, and future M-series devices. In summary, Hydra is absolutely worth keeping an eye on. While it's not yet suitable for regular gaming, it holds enormous potential for the future of emulation on Mac OS. For now, if you want to play Nintendo Switch games on a Mac, your best options remain Ryujinx via Crossover or Yuzu using Parallels. But make no mistake, Hydra is the most promising project aimed at bringing true native Switch emulation to Apple Silicon. If you're curious, want to contribute, or simply want to follow the project's progress, check out the official GitHub repository and join the discussion on Reddit, where the developer shares regular updates. The future of Switch emulation on macOS is looking incredibly exciting.